Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dr. Gary Kraus, neurosurgeon and founder of the Kraus TBI Institute in Houston, Texas. In today's video, I'll be portraying both the physician and the patient to provide a more empathic and personal perspective on living with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Often, information about mental health conditions like PTSD is presented in a clinical and detached manner through lectures or bullet point presentations. But this approach can sometimes fail to capture the true emotional and physical toll that PTSD can take on a patient's daily life. By acting as both the patient and the physician, I aim to humanize the struggles faced by those with PTSD, making it more relatable and easier to understand for everyone. This approach will hopefully foster a deeper sense of empathy and compassion, encourage more open conversations about mental health, and ultimately, help to break down the stigma associated with PTSD. Hi, I'm Alex, and I've been dealing with PTSD for a while now, and I'm here to share my experience. Thank you, Alex. Can you start by telling us about a typical day for you? Sure. Mornings are usually the toughest because I often have nightmares. So I usually wake up feeling anxious and it kind of sets the tone for the whole day. And then there's triggers. They can be anywhere, in a song, a smell, even a random conversation. It's like this sudden wave that drowns me back into the past. I can physically feel my heart pounding and it's hard to catch my breath. I can only imagine how overwhelming that must feel. And I guess that impacts your daily interactions and activities. Definitely. I get anxious around people. I'm always afraid I'll have a panic attack or a flashback in public. So I end up avoiding social situations, which makes me feel isolated. And even when I am with people, I find it hard to concentrate because I'm always feeling on edge. I can see how that can be really challenging. It's completely understandable to feel that way. Have you noticed any physical symptoms associated with your PTSD? Yes, absolutely. I often feel and experience headaches, fatigue, even sometimes chest pain. It's really surprising how a mental health condition can affect your physical well being also. That's very true. PTSD can manifest both mentally and physically. It's so important to take care of both aspects of our health. What are some common misconceptions about PTSD that you've encountered? Yeah. Some people think PTSD only affects soldiers or that it's just about having flashbacks, but it's so much more than that. It affects your daily life, even relationships and your physical health too. Yes, that's a common misconception. PTSD can affect anyone who's experienced a traumatic event and it impacts multiple aspects of one's life. Now, what are some self-care strategies that you find helpful? I try to practice mindfulness and grounding techniques. I also find that painting and spending time in nature, that's really therapeutic for me, but it's important to remember that what works for one person may not necessarily work for another, and it's okay to seek help. Thank you, Alex, for sharing your experience. Remember everyone, healing is a journey and it's okay to have ups and downs. Be kind to yourself and remember that you are not alone. If you or someone you know is struggling with PTSD, please seek help. This is Dr. Krause and I thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and leave your comments below. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for watching.